Last time on Fallout New Vegas. Ooh! <laughs> what? Oh, damn it! Hey guys, Boney McBonington here, and welcome back to Fallout New Vegas. Now, you're probably going to be wondering what we're doing for this episode. Well, you can already tell by the title. Hey, yeah, sorry to, sorry to spoil it like that, really. Yeah, we're going to be doing this quest. But first, we will need to go drop things off. Howdy. My name is Jed Masterson, and I'm a caravan boss for the Happy Trails Caravan Company. If you're hearing this, I have a job offer for you. Happy Trails is organizing an expedition north into Utah, off the Long 15, and we need people. We're looking for caravan guards, prospectors, couriers. If you're used to humping it across the waste, straight toward trouble, we want you. If you got a pit boy, we definitely want you. On the other hand, if you're a greenhorn or a city slicker spinning tales about your skills, you can kindly go hang. If we like your gumption, we'll pay you square and treat you fair. Find me, Jed Masterson, at the Northern Passage if you're interested. Luck to you. Howdy. My name is Jed Masterson. Okay, first of all, anyone else find it a teeny weeny, tiny whiny bit suspicious that this dude is looking for a courier who also has a pit boy? There's literally only one other fucking person in the whole wasteland that fits that description, and it's me! This sounds like a trap! I'm gonna do it anyways, but first, uh. Let's distribute the weight. Yeah, I'm gonna. Need to lighten my. Yeah, yeah. Here. Sure. Just don't treat me like a pack Brahmin. Okay? I will. I'm not gonna lie. I totally will. Here, you take my clothes. I'm just in the combat armor. No, I'll take the food. I'll, I'll, just, I'll just keep you. There. What's up? Okay, first of all, no. Whatever that hairdo is ain't fucking working. It's time for us to part ways. Oh, I thought my charm could win you over, but I guess it wasn't meant to be. You sure you want me to go? Uh, yeah, go back to the Lucky 38. Ah, back to the tomb, I suppose. If you need me, etc. Yeah, yeah. Alright. Okay, apparently Ganon can teleport. Uh, Veronica? What's up? Yeah, I know we just met up a few days ago, but, uh... You gotta go. Why does everyone always say that? Just, just go to the Lucky 38. Nice! Can I order room service? Yes, but no crack. Assuming that exists in this universe, uh, EDE? Yeah, you, you gotta go too. Uh, yes, I'm sure. Grandmama, I love you. Moi, but you gotta go too. Hello again, dear. Please, don't, don't make this harder than it has to be, Grandmama. Grandma will miss her little pumpkin. Are you sure? Uh, I'm sure. Go back to the Lucky 38 for now. Nice children shouldn't play in places like that, dearie. That's the sort of place Leo likes. But if you insist... There you go, and uh, who's left up? Veronica. Listen, I, it's great. I know you want to kill the uh, old silver minx, but yeah. Not sure who this friend of yours is, but if he's looking down on Vegas... He's either God or the moon. Oh God, what if he's both? I had other questions. Ask him then. 
Uh, it's not very part ways. What? No music? I'll hold the tears till I'm gone. Uh, I'm sure. Just go back to the Lucky 38. All right. Don't be long. Robots there give me the creeps. Uh, especially uh, Mr. House's sex bot. Dude. Okay, now where is this thing? All the way up there. What? What? Raul? Uh, over elaborate mob schemes to take over Vegas. Reminds me of the days before the war. Uh, yeah, listen, uh, I think I need to go on without you. Good call. I mean, if that's what you really want, boss. Uh, go to the Lucky 38. Hey, as long as you're not asking me to go back to Black Mountain, I'm a happy old man. Yeah. All right, entirely on our own, all alone. Let's go. Hmm, before we go there, there is something I should look up. Uh, hold on a sec. All right, I'm back. Sorry, I had to look some stuff up. But this is actually going to be an interesting experience for me. You're probably wondering why, well, I'll tell you. You see, I've only played two of Fallout New Vegas' Vegas's DLC, Dead Money and Old World Blues. As for Honest Hearts and uh, whatever it's called, Lonesome Road, I have not done those yet. I have never experienced those in my entire life. Not once. So uh, yeah, for the first time, you're going to be seeing me walk into a DLC of a Fallout game entirely blind. Speaking of blind, where the hell is this thing? Nice house, but still. Wait, am I wearing clothes? Oh, good lord, I'm not! Oh. Oh, that... That's reassuring! Okay, hold on, just... Let me check and see if I'm recording. Uh, yeah, yes, we are. Okay, good. Just making sure we're recording audio before we go through this. Hello? Oh, you're Jed. You're Stella. Ricky. You looking for trouble, bud? I got plenty to spare. So watch your ass around me. Unwarranted hostility and general agitation. How long have you been a psycho addict? Hey, hey, hey! Fuck you! I didn't say nothing about using psycho! <laughs> hey, you little asshole. Hmm, how much psycho you got stashed away? If you run out on the trail, the withdrawal's not pleasant. God damn it! I didn't say nothing about using Psycho. But, uh, just talking hypnotheoretically here, <laughs> got any suggestions? Hmm. Uh, yeah. Leave now. Before the withdrawal hits you on the trail, no Psycho for miles. Fine! You win, asshole! Enjoy leading the expedition into a fucking ambush! Hope you all die! Ambush? Anyone else find that suspicious? Just me? Alright. Looking to join this caravan, huh? Look to me like you can handle yourself. You have no idea, Stella. Say, what are you doing here? And how the hell do I know your name? Earning my keep. Jed hired me on as a caravan guard for this expedition of his. The work suits me. I've tried staying put in one place, but it never works out. Grew up in New Reno, and I couldn't put that snake pit behind me fast enough. Then I wound up wasting the prime of my life playing sheriff in Caliente. Little town north on the 93. Talk about a pain in the ass. You ask me, best to keep moving. At least the scenery changes. Sorry, I'm just adjusting my chair, so, uh, what was it like for you to grow up in New Reno? Imagine New Vegas if there was no Mr. House-type fella keeping the peace. Then give everybody a gun and a jet addiction. Town's run by a bunch of crime families. No law to speak of. Make trouble and you wind up buried in Golgotha outside town. 
The scuzz factor's off the charts. Non-stop whoring and drugs. Couldn't walk down the street without getting asked to star in a porn movie. So I got my ass out of there while I still owned it. Guess I figured the answer to every problem was rule of law. Naive, huh? Yeah, so uh, tell me about Caliente. Place lived up to its name, that's for sure. When you got fresh water and a trickle of geothermic power, always be some gang of assholes wants to kill you for it. Spent more years and took more bullets than I care to admit protecting that hellhole from dangers within and without. If it wasn't the 80s or the White Legs raiding, it was someone from town drunk off his ass trying to win an argument with a shotgun. Got tired of shooting the folks I was supposed to protect. So, now I do this. Alright, cool. So, uh, were the 80s a gang or a tribe? What's the difference? Raiders is raiders. Bunch of them swept into town and dragged off two working girls. Deputies and me gave pursuit straight into 80s territory. By the time we caught up with the girls, there wasn't much left of them, so we turned for home. Made it back to Caliente without further losses, but we was watched the whole way. Never seen so few people cover so much land. Goddamn creepy. If the 80s had wanted to kill us, we would have been dead. Guess they figured we weren't worth the trouble. Oh, that is creepy. So, uh, what do you know about the old white legs? Used to be they raided northeast of Caliente time to time. But then the Desert Rangers fell apart ten years ago, absorbed into the NCR. Soon enough, the white legs were swarming all over that stretch of I-15. Folks learned not to head north if they wanted to keep their scalps. Eventually, the white legs destroyed the bridges across the Virgin River over in Arizona. End of discussion. Hmm, cool. Alright, well, bye, Stella. Catch you another time, then. Alright, Jed, Jed Masterson, hello. Howdy, friend. Heard my little broadcast, did you? Yeah, you look the type. Damn good thing you came along, too. We had another prospect with a pit boy, but he done skedaddled. Something must have spooked the boy. Huh. Well, uh, oh my god, do I really have to ask him all these questions? Uh, you know what, tell you what, I'm gonna put a little thing up here in the corner where if you don't want to hear all this, you can skip to that, alright? Alright, uh, tell me about the job. The job is simple. Help us get this caravan in design and find new Canaan. The pay is 25 caps per day. Half up front, half on return. You'll get a bonus if we make it in design, plus another bonus if we reach New Canaan. Oh, uh, one more thing. Don't mention the name Joshua Graham to anyone. Anyone. Uh, who's Joshua Graham and why shouldn't I talk about him? Just don't. It makes the New Canaanites powerful uncomfortable, and it scares the britches off the tribals. Don't talk about the burn man either while you're at it. Trust me on this one. It's for your own good. All right, uh, tell me about the Happy Trails Caravan Company. We're a smaller company out of Sacktown, up in the Sacktown. northern part of the NCR. We run some business through New Reno. They're on the little loop. Had a nice run to Salt Lake City, too, but uh, then we lost contact with New Canaan, and that went all to hell. Hmm, it sounds like Happy Trails isn't in the best financial shape. You ain't wrong. Losing the Salt Lake City run really stung us. If we can't re-establish contact with this run, we'll be in real trouble. Huh. So, why can't you get to Salt Lake City? Without New Canaan's mission in Zion, the only ways to Salt Lake City are down the old I-80, or up through Ogden. The highway is too risky. NCR's rangers are so busy here in the Mojave, they don't have the manpower to keep the raiders off. Ogden's just too far. We'd lose more in travel expenses than we'd ever earn. Hmm. Alright, so what can you tell me about New Canaan? Don't know much about the place, but I can tell you about the people. The New Canaanites were some kind of religious group from before the war. They control the old city of Ogden, a ways north of Zion, and they got themselves a nice defensible mission in the canyon itself. Or they did. They trade a fair bit with the tribes in Zion. Well... The ones that don't try to kill them anyways. Hmm. So, uh, what do you know about their religion? I ain't a praying man myself. They paid for their goods and dealt square with us. That's all I ever cared about. 
But don't think that just because they're religious, that they're pacifists. They take care of their own, and they're damn fine marksmen, too. Hmm. So you don't know what happened on their mission? Nope. Hence this caravan. If we don't make contact with the new Canaanites, Happy Trails might as well just shrivel up and die. Hmm. I had some other questions. Shoot! Oh my god, so many fucking questions! Wait, we can play caravan with them? No, I don't want it. I sent this caravan's head to Zion. Why can't you tell me about the area? Well, I ain't never been inside myself. Did some trading with the new Canaanites from their mission there. But that was all on the outskirts. All the old ways in and out were destroyed after the war. But we got ourselves the location of a pass the new Canaanites use. That's our way in. That's why I wanted someone with a pit boy on the caravan. The map will be helpful for checking the topography, keeping us on the trail. Mm-hmm. So, I haven't been through Utah recently, uh, what's the situation like? Well, it ain't good, I'll tell you that. It's not like the Mojave or the NCR. Hell, even Arizona under Caesar is safer. You got raiders all over the damn place. Tribes of degenerates that'll eat you as soon as look at you. Regional warlords, the works. Not too many decent places to stop and trade. New Canaan's one of the only ones left I know about. So, tell me about the Raiders. They're about what you'd expect. Crazy. Jacked up on Kims, violent as hell, and not too bright. The worst of the 80s. But we won't be passing through their turf on this run. Mm. So, degenerate tribes? That's right. The folks that lived in Zion before the war, they didn't just get a little savage. They're downright feral. Most of them don't even speak English anymore. You've got to get yourself a new Canaanite translator to talk to them. The ones you really gotta watch out for are the White Legs from the Great Salt Lake. They'll attack just about anyone that ain't one of theirs. Hmm, Alright, so, uh, what about the Warlords? How dangerous are they? Dangerous enough we won't be going near them if we can help it. I got no desire for my head to decorate some little gas station for its walls, thanks. Hmm, Alright, well, uh, other questions? Shoot! And, uh, yeah, that's about it. Uh, I'm ready to go to Zion. I bet you are, but you ain't going nowhere loaded down like a pack Brahmin. Hmm. Relax. I've humped this load across the Mojave on my own two feet long enough. I can handle it. Hmm. All right. I reckon you know your limits. You keel over on me out there, though. And I'll leave your ass after we take everything useful you crammed in your pack. All right. Wait, why the weight limit? You ain't never been to Zion, have you? We'll be passing through a whole mess of narrow slot canyons and high rough passes. A big pack will get you wedged in like a super mutant crawling through a storm drain. And too much weight will kill you in the thin air. Mm. All right, let's go. I'm ready and we've burned through enough time. Are you now? You know we ain't coming back this way for a good long while now, right? And you know about the weight limit. I don't want no whining about old Mr. Masterson. I left my one-of-a-kind plasma cannon back at base. Can we go back for it? You sure you're ready now? Yes, I'm sure. Well, all right then. Let's get moving. We got a long road ahead of us. The paths we're following are slow going, so you might as well keep your ears open and listen to what old Jed has to say. A few decades back, folks in the NCR started to hear about a community in northern Utah called New Canaan. Didn't know much about them, except that they were religious folks, sent out missionaries to talk to the tribes. We've seen our share of cults, but the New Canaanites, they were honest traders. Good fighters, too. Raiders wouldn't tangle with them. But then, the Legion appeared in Arizona. I reckon you know all about them. Turns out Caesar's first war chief, the Malpace Legate, was a new Canaanite, Joshua Graham. Legend goes 
that Graham was the meanest, toughest son of a bitch in the whole damn legion. The new Canaanites wouldn't talk about him. They were ashamed. Guess I can't blame them. Well, at Hoover Dam, the malpace legged finally met his match. Hanlon and Oliver kicked his new Canaanite butt right back over the river. Caesar had to make an example for the others, to show them that even at the highest level, failure wouldn't be tolerated. He had Graham covered in pitch, lit on fire, and thrown into the Grand Canyon. People say he didn't even scream on the way down. Not long after, some of the slaves and tribals started to talk. Said Graham wasn't dead. Shouldn't have been any surprise. All this talk bothered Caesar. So he forbade anyone from speaking his name. Wanted to erase Joshua Graham from history. He got his wish. Joshua Graham disappeared. And in his place came legends of the burned man walking the wastes. Probably just a tribal ghost story. But New Canaan's been silent for a long time. Maybe it's a coincidence. Maybe the Malpace Legged is dead. Or maybe Joshua Graham did crawl out of that canyon and finally found his way back home. Huh. Whoa. All right, people. It's been a long couple of weeks. But here we are. Zion. I know your feet hurt. I know you're tired. <laughs> But I need everyone's mind on the trail ahead. Ain't the trail ahead worries me, Jed. Those descents we made through that slot canyon back up there. Ain't no way we're getting back out the way we come. And then what? God damn it, Stella heard you the first time. And the 15th, too. The new Canaanites will know a way. And if they don't, we've got the maps on our friend's pit boy over there. That's right. And I'm lollygagging. Get moving. And keep an eye out for tribals. Sorry to bother. I really shouldn't have brought a shotgun to this. Uh, I got a camera. Howdy, old Jed. Who cares if we no can't ammo. get back out the way we come? That's not a problem. Wait, who the fuck are these two? I don't remember these guys. God damn it, oh shit! Okay, uh, that person's dead. Oh god, Stella fucking exploded. Everyone alive? Everyone alive? Oh, God damn it! Dude, we were only in Zion for 40 seconds. Everyone's fucking dead. Jesus Christ. Ah, Stella. Oh, they got you. Oh, that sucks. Nice rack, though. Ah, damn white legs. Dude had an anti-material rifle. Jesus Christ, talk about overkill. A lot of good shit, though. Hmm, makes it look like a dangerous fall. A four, ooh, 45 auto, yes please. Okay, please don't. Ooh. 
Hoy, white legs don't leave survivors often. You're some kind of lucky, let me tell you. You came from outside, didn't you? From the civilized lands. Wow. Joshua will want to hear about this. Um... Who is Joshua? Joshua Graham. He leads our tribe. Thanks to him, the dead horses are strong and safe from our enemies. He'll want to talk to anyone coming up from Southways. I guess that means just you now. Come, I can take you to him. Ah, uh, all right, fine, let's go. Good sists. We head east then. Joshua is at our tribe's camp in the Eastern Virgin. We'll stack Karensburg. In your party, reaching any summons I, such as real all nearby map markers, inspire a heightened state of awareness. Plus three perception for three minutes. Okay, that's kind of cool. All right, come on, buddy. God, this is some tribal shit going on. Let me loot this dead idiot first. Um, ooh, a lot of good shit out here. Hold up. See that log over there? Take a closer look. There might be some good stuff tucked in there. Weird ass thing to say, but okay. I'll just reach my hand into this totally not suspicious log and... Iguana on a stick. Thank you, follows Chalk. Man, what sort of fucking mess did I just get into? Ah. Awfully quiet, though. We follow this path for a while. Nice view of the river. Eh. Hmm. It's alright. Please. Don't. <laughs> I'm gonna kill it. Gotcha! Giant Yao Guai, wait a minute. Did I fuck up? Where are you going, bench? No, get back here! Oh, fucker ran. I thought that thing was supposed to be deadly. It didn't come after us. The fuck? What? Oh lordy, back! I got a better weapon, um... No, I didn't have one, but... A fire axe! Okay, that sounds kinda cool. I have a hunting rifle and we're good. Yeah, fucking eat your... You know, fun fact, there was actually one time that I did visit Arizona, Phoenix, Arizona to be specific, for about like uh, two weeks. But then again, that's a story for another day, because it is way too fucking long for this, I'm assuming. The tour of... Oh, what? Gotcha. Oh, just scorpions. Okay, cool. souls are trapped in them but Joshua says the shows were serious about fighting white legs gotcha. I don't I don't see anything it's behind a rock oh oh wow that was a lot of things Wacky as it can be.
Oh. Oh, oh, that that's reassuring. I'm in the heads on pipes. See those handprints? Dead horses and sorrows mark them on taboo places. Places from back when. Good thing for you, I don't buy into that stuff. Like the shadow of a ghost. Yeah, let's keep moving. Hold up. You're getting all turned around. Check your map and backtrack a little. Okay. Oh, oh, I see. Th thanks, man. Wow, that, that was actually really helpful. Thanks. Who that could have been annoying. Down this path to the north. Hope you don't mind getting wet. Ah, uh, not at all. Oh, this water looks clean enough to stick my head in it and take a big drink. Mm. These paintings show the dead horse's victories against other tribes. Lots more of them since Joshua came to us. Ah, nice. Uh, nice calm. Nearly there now. Watch out for traps in the water. Got to keep the white legs out somehow. Eh? You mean this obvious trap set here? In the, in the crystal clear water. I'm, I'm sorry, man, but I, I don't know. These are tribals. I could easily fool them. Also, stop me to think about it. Do bear traps actually work in the water? Don't actually know. Huh. Gonna disable all of these while I'm at it. Zero rats. Oh, yeah, just. Mm, good. Here we are. Joshua's just ahead there, in the angel cave. Um, are these guys gonna murder? Okay, no, they are not going to murder you. They are fine. Okay, bye. You know what? We're actually... Oh! This guy! Okay, in order to refer to what this reference is to, at the start of the game, remember that, um, one poster? Okay, they were doing that psyche test on us, and they were bringing up all those cards and stuff? Well, the one that looks like a mushroom cloud, a lot of the people wanted to say, it looks like two bears high-fiving. Even I thought it looked like two bears high-fiving. Well, unfortunately, that wasn't a dialogue option that annoyed a lot of people, so much they made it into mods where you could say that. Oh, sorry, heartburn. But yeah, so this is an actual Easter egg that the developers of Obsidian put in there to reference that. All right, now, as much as I'd love to charge into this cave and meet him, we unfortunately have to end the episode because we are very done for on time. There's Bony McBonington here with honest hearts. Have a good day now and goodbye.